After 24,000 miles in two years with my Micro Mini, I have some things I hate about it. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a long-time subscriber, always good to have you back. I'm Warwick, and today we're gonna talk about everything I hate about my Micro Mini. This may surprise you, there's not much to hate about the Micro Mini. So if you're looking to buy a Micro Mini or you currently have one, I'm sure you will agree with every single one of my stats. Now, all of these things can be fixed and can be found on different campers. So take this with a grain of salt, but I wanna point out the things I've had a problem with. Firstly, this slide. Now we've all had slide issues, we've all heard the rumors about slide issues, and some of those rumors are true. But I'm gonna tell you this issue is going to be easily fixed, which I will jump into in later videos, so be sure you subscribe so you can check out how I fix the issue. So far, with the 24,000 miles, it's continued to work, it is just lacking in uh, stability and quality, if you will. So I'll show you those in the future video on how we're gonna fix them. Next up on the list, as you can tell, I'm a larger fellow. And the toilets they put in these babies are the Dometic 300. Now the Dometic 300, uh, let's compare it to one of those child's porta potties you put in your car when you go to a fair and you know there's not gonna be a toilet. So these things are plastic terrible and they sound like they're gonna explode when you just look at them. So upgrading to a Dometic 320 porcelain bowl is something you're gonna want to do. I don't know why Winnebago doesn't do it on these babies but they should and something they should consider. Now Josh the RV nerd has addressed this problem and it is why RV mattresses suck and this RV has no exception. The mattress sucks. So the first thing I did, the very first thing I did is I replaced the mattress. I just simply went on Amazon and I picked up a mattress that's the same size as this. This RV could accommodate a full-size mattress so I ordered one of those. If you are interested in finding out about different mattresses, a link down below. Funny enough, I came from the mattress industry, so I know what I'm talking about. I've sold mattresses up to $10,000, but the one I put in here is $110. So if you wanna check those out, check it down below. Next up on the list is gonna be the ceiling fans. I'm gonna recommend you upgrade at least one of them if you have two ceiling fans. This baby is a 2021 Micro Mini 2306 and I have a ceiling fan above the bed and I have one in the bathroom. I just updated the one above the bed. Now the reason these are terrible is firstly they do not move air and I boondock almost exclusively so I need an airflow in the camper. So increasing that fan and opening a window will get air flowing therefore you use less power with AC and the camper stays nice and cool. And with all of that we've come to the last thing I actually hate about the Micro Mini but I did solve one of the issues. You see the Micro Mini comes with a 30, 30, 25. 30 fresh, 30 gray, 25 black. Now black is perfect size. I have a family of four and we can go about five to seven days if we're really pushing it with the black tank. But the fresh tank really only lasts one or two days. So what I did is I took my 30 gallons and I increased it to 116 gallons. I don't know if I'd recommend that. I would maybe recommend going to 60 gallons. And then the gray tank really needs to be increased. Ideally, I would like to see a 50 50 25 so Winnebago travel trailer team please do that to the micro mini then you're gonna have one of the best if not the best travel trailers out there so guys as you can tell that's not really much I don't hate this trailer at all actually this trailer's done me pretty darn well but the next video is I'm gonna tell you everything that has broken on my 24,000 mile travel around America. I did take it to extreme places, off-roading, snow, rain, all of that. And you're gonna be surprised at what actually broke. So guys, until next time, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you then.